What do you do when you can't decide which tiered tray to do for the summertime? Well, you do all the things you're thinking of. That's what you do. I'm Marie. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. We're starting with an Americana tiered tray and two DIYs. I have a sign already, and what I've done is I have painted it in the Craft Smart Cherry Cobbler, and then I'm taking this piece of burlap here and cutting it down to fit the sign. So what I'm trying to make here is a rustic kind of homemade um, American flag design. Not exactly an American flag, but um, you'll see. So I'm taking a few strands out so that I can get it to the size I want, trimming the edges, and then um, I'm also going to take it and just trim those sides there. You see they're kind of rough, so I'm gonna even those up with my little scissors I have here. Once we get that squared away and I get it right to the size that I want, after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and I have some twine that I purchased, a whole roll of it here. I purchased it at Christmas time, never used it. I cut the strips down and I'm using my tacky glue and I'm gonna go ahead and I cut down many strips here. We're gonna put this on the burlap and it's going to mimic the stripes from the American flag. So I don't want it to cover the entire piece so I'm trying to figure out just exactly where I want it to stop and then I'm going to glue it down. So I'm gluing one end and then I'm gluing the other end with the tacky glue and then I also glue just in the center because I didn't feel like that was enough to make sure that it stays in place. I didn't want to glue the entire thing down. It would have too much of a mess of glue. And then here I'm just showing you, I put um, the first one down and then the middle one down, trimmed it to the size of the first one. And then I just put that one down and I'm gonna do that for the whole thing across. So we're gonna be taking it all the way to the other end. So now you see how that looks. And then I have some uh, fabric, blue fabric that I had on hand. Again, taking the tacky glue and putting that on the top here. And then that's gonna make like the top of the flag. So this is gonna mimic a flag that hangs vertical. And then I'm just using this Dollar Tree lace and I'm just putting this in here on the top. And this is just my little take on a rustic style fabric American flag sign. So we're gonna get all those pieces on there. And once we have that in place, we're gonna again take the tacky glue, spread it on to the sign. And once we get it spread onto the sign, we're just gonna wipe off a little bit of the excess where we don't want that to show. And then we're gonna press it down. And that's DIY number one. DIY number two, we're gonna use this crate from the Dollar Tree that I have already stained for a previous project. And we're going to paint it in the plaster color by Waverly. I'm using 120 sandpaper and I am sanding the edges. And then I'm going to be distressing. You can see there, I'm just distressing different parts of it just to give it that kind of worn look. I'm going to be distressing the edges also to do the same thing. And then a little bit on the sides there too. So I'm doing both sides, all four sides really. So I measured this Dollar Tree crate. It is uh, six by three and I made some printables and I made um, a straw, a fresh strawberries, quote unquote, printable in the Canva app. And I'm going to offer that to you free. So I will have a link to that below. I put them in my Pinterest account and I will link to that so that you can have the printable also if you're interested. So I made it scaled to size for this crate. And I'm just cutting up the individual pieces here. Now I printed this on tissue paper and I've seen other people do this and I tried it myself and I really do like the way that it worked. And then the other thing that I'm using is a craft glue stick as opposed to using Mod Podge. I feel like it gives me a lot better control and particularly because I have an inkjet printer and the inkjet printers, when you, you can't really decoupage over them because it smudges it. So the craft stick here, I felt uh, worked really well for me to blend this into the crate and make it look like it's actually 
part of the crate. So I have a question today, and that is, when you do tiered trays, do you like themes? Or do you like just everyday trays? If you could let me know that in the comments, I'd like to know if you're a theme person or not a theme person. I find the themes are easy to decorate a tray with. You just pick a theme, you go with it, you pick different things that work, and then you make your tray. Now the everyday trays might be a little bit harder to do, but the great thing about those is that you can buy so many different things that just interchange with each other that you can really have endless combinations of decorating those. So let me know in the comments what you think. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and start decorating this tray. So I'm starting with my Courier and Ives sugar bowl. I feel like Courier and Ives is very Americana. I wanted to include it on this tray. It's blue and white too. I feel like the strawberry crate here with the faux strawberries in it just reminds me of summer. Strawberries always remind me of summer. Also matches. Just sticking my little homemade flag design in there too. Thinking so far that looks okay. Now I've been wanting to use this sign on a tray for a couple years and normally I don't like to cover up that top piece but this time I did. I'm just adding in a few little pieces here. Now the hearts are from uh, Valentine's Day but I thought that they would work well on this tray today because they are red and white and they are the right colors. I also like to use this boxwood greenery because I feel the green against the red, white, and blue just is a really nice contrast. So I always like to use some of that too when I'm doing one of these Americana style tiered trays. That's a little rolling pin there that I decorated a year or two ago. I'm trying to fit that mason jar in the back, but this tray is really not big enough for that. This is a smaller tray, a little bit trickier to decorate than the larger tray I'm going to show you in a few minutes. But these hearts I made out of uh, ticking fabric and some embroidery floss, uh, just stuffed them and um, kind of just uh, sewed, sewed them together. That's my little uh, star I purchased off of Etsy a couple years ago. And we're just going to add in some a little more greenery and we're going to add in a couple more of these fun little hearts to the front and then a couple to the back and then we're going to be done with this tray and I'll show you how it looks now. Okay, now we're going to do a lemon tear tray and one DIY. So I found this sign at the Dollar Tree and I felt it was so cute. Um, loved the wood on it and also the beading on this. For $1.25, I really didn't think you could beat that. So here's my second printable that I made. Now this one is uh, scaled to size 4x4. Four now it's going to print on an eight and a half by 11. I mean, that's what I printed it on. So that's why you see me cutting it down here, but it's meant to fit this little sign. And then I'm just kind of eyeballing here as I cut it down. Now I probably could have used a ruler and done this a lot faster. It was late at night and I was, um, I was just want, trying to get it done. I don't normally work late at night, but I was this time. So I'm just getting that in there. And then you can see you're going to be able to see that writing underneath there. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding in a couple blank pieces of paper. Now you could print this on white cardstock and then you would eliminate that problem. But I'm just going to take the paper, cover it up, and then I'm going to take the Elmer's glue and uh, just so that it doesn't fall out. Now I'm not gluing it to the sign because I might want to actually use that sign. It's a cute sign. I like the saying on it. I might want to use it sometime. But I'm gluing the papers to each other so that they stay in better. All right, so let's go ahead and start decorating this tray. Now this tray 
is a white tray. I love decorating this tray. First of all, the size and the proportion are just perfect for doing tiered trays. It's really easy to decorate with this tray. I do have a link for it below and it also comes in two different colors and it is from Amazon. So I will link that in the description box for you below. And I also do have an Amazon store in case you're interested. The lemongrass wreath also, I just had the idea to tuck that behind there. That's also from Amazon. So you will find that linked in my description box below. If you're on a phone, the description box is, if you see where your title is underneath your video, just to the right, there's a down arrow. You click the down arrow, that will expand and show you part of the description box. And then you'll see a word that says more. And then if you click on more, that will expand it and it will show you the whole description box with all of the links and all of the information that I'm talking about. And on the computer, it's pretty much the same thing. You just see the description below and you click more and then it will expand it for you so that you can see all of it. So we're just about done here and here's this tray. Lastly, let's style a garden themed tiered tray. So I'm going back to the first tray that I was using and I think that this one lends itself really well to the garden theme. I'm using this little bird that I've had for a long time, adding in some faux plants and my little spritzer there. I'd like to remind you that if you're enjoying this video, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a video from me. So as I'm adding in these pieces here, I'm just kind of tweaking those little olive branches there. And all of these pieces are really inexpensive. And that's what's really nice about a tiered tray is that you can definitely style it for a very small cost. And I don't know. I just love them. I think they're a lot of fun. I enjoy doing them. And I think that, you know, the more little pieces you get, the um, easier it is to do and change them out. I like to use the same things and show you from year to year how I use them differently. I'd love to know which of these you like the best. I'd also like to know whether you like themes or don't like themes like I asked you earlier in the video. Don't forget about my printables I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.